Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good, good, glad to hear it. All right, slide your chair up and let's take a look at this. You can see we got a Kershaw. What kind of Kershaw do we got? Well, we have a hot wire. Part number 1310WM, which WM stands for Walmart. And you can see it's number eight in their, in their case. I was at Walmart, and as I often do, uh, I just go over in Sporting Goods and look at various items, you know, men's stuff, you know, hunting, fishing, tools, that kind of thing. And I always will wonder by the knife case. I don't often buy knives at Walmart uh, because usually um, most things I can get uh, from a supplier and all that. And I've seen this, and this was something I had not seen very often. Uh, I've seen a couple of mentioned a couple of times on videos before. But, you know, I seen it, it was labeled Kershaw, and, and and I thought, you know, I was looking, you know, they got usually a leak there, and uh, maybe a cryo or something like that. And this one was called the Hot Wire, which I had, like I said, vaguely recalled the name and, and all that. And I thought, it was a decent looking little knife sitting there in their, their case. But what got my attention was the price tag on that. Um, was a... Uh, Eleven dollars and some change, which uh, don't really expect much for for eleven bucks. But uh, I thought it looked pretty good, so I asked the guy if he'd take it out of the case and let me have a look at it. And I, I thought, well, it don't look too bad. You know, I, I was expecting it to be look similar to maybe some of the Ozark Trail stuff they have, or. Or even Gerber, which Gerber makes uh, some Walmart knives that seem to underperform as far, you know, they, they'll look nice in the case, but when you get them, they're, they're usually not that, that great. And I thought, well, what the heck, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll spring on one of these, you know, I like the size, I like the design, and... For 11 bucks, you know, what the heck. So, uh, I grabbed it and brought it home. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it. I could not find a whole lot about these online. Um, they're not available from Blade HQ or any places like that. So, the, the specs are hard to come by. I do believe it's uh, 3CR 13 MOV or something like that on the steel so it, it is not a high-end steel it's a budget steel but as you know it's it's not like just generic stainless um it's gonna be a high carbon content so or low carbon and probably fairly soft as far as uh you know knife steels can go on the higher end but for an 11 dollar knife um you know, with a good design and, and good action, you know, you, I'd even take uh, just generic stainless for uh, a beater knife or something like that. But actually, this uh, looks better than the most low-end knives. Uh, has a definitely has a better action. It's uh, speed safe assist at opening. You know. Any of you familiar with Kershaw are going to be very familiar with that. It, you know, you just give it a little pressure and pop, pop throughout out there. Um, you know, I don't mind it. On, uh, on at times, uh, there's there's times I prefer something with just, you know, really smooth. I like flippers, but just something with a really smooth action on its own. Because what happens with that speed safe is. is is the clothes really stiff right there you get a lot of spring uh, resistance and it makes it a little more difficult to close on its own but you're not going to accidentally uh, close it on your finger because it, it's, it's definitely uh, 
got a lot of spring tension, but it opens real, real quick. And for a lot of applications, that might be what you're looking for is a real quick opening. All right, like I said, there wasn't a lot of specs to be found. Um, the first off, let's get the scales out here and weigh this bad boy. It don't weigh much, I can tell. It, it, it's, it's very light. And it is 2.07 ounces, so very light. Um, falls well within the uh, realm of uh, where I like to be on uh, on weight, especially on just uh, daily carry. If I'm if I'm going to the office or something like that, don't want a lot of stuff weighing down my pocket. But also even uh, on weekends uh, where I might be wearing. Uh, Shorts or, or in the cooler time of year might be wearing sweats or workout pants or something like that. Uh, you don't want a real heavy knife uh, that when you clip it in your pocket, it's going to make your pocket lay open and, and then all your change falls out and all that when you sit down. Or even if you want to just drop it down into your pocket and let it just rest in the bottom down there. It's... Uh, you know, good weight for that doesn't weight you down. Um, but it's got the uh, kind of a satin bead blast, I think uh, Kershaw does. It kind of gives it that satin look. It's a look really nice looking knife for a, a cheap or inexpensive uh, Walmart only offering. Uh, a lot of companies, when they have to do that for Walmart or even create a line that Walmart will carry, you know, Walmart would, is going to demand a certain price point. And I feel a lot of manufacturers then will cheapen their product by uh, creating those, uh, you know, Hello Gerber and Sog make some uh, pretty... Uh, crappy stuff that they make available through Walmart. They make, they they can make some good stuff, but uh, you know, but to me it hurts their brand if, if you're going to put something pretty cheap out there. And this one, uh, to be honest, uh, if I was just to pick this knife up and not know where it came from or anything, I, I, would, I would easily pay 20 bucks for it. Or feel it, or figure it was a twenty dollar knife, twenty five, twenty twenty five dollar knife. The scales are just some kind of plastic or polymer or something like that, but they do have a nice texturing. Um, don't know if you can really tell there on the close up, and then you got these uh, grooves here, so you end up with uh, a lot of a lot of good grip on that. And no jumping on the back or anything, but, uh, you know, to get that price point, they got to give up something. But you get such a good grip on the the handle, you really don't really miss the jumping too bad. And the frame, uh, frame lock locks up there right at about 50%. And there's some jumping on that, so it makes it easier to push it over one hand. And then you got a little jimping here on the uh, the flipper tab, which just makes it just pop right open. Um, one thing I did notice, even when I first picked it up, was that it's a pat, it's a flow through design with your barrel spacers in there, but it's a really wide opening there. And as you can see, that blade's not sitting in there. Um, centered very well it's kind of oriented to the right but that spacing is so wide that it's not it's still a lot of space there before it rubs anything and it doesn't affect the opening or anything like that i may try to adjust on it a little bit uh see if we can just you know i'm i'm dull centering bothers me a tad but you know but the blade is tight, no play in it at all. And there's no uh, 
no uh, problem with operation, so I'll probably just leave it alone. It, it's it's a eleven dollar knife, so I think I can live just live with that. Um, well, let's uh, look at the overall length here. We are at six and a half inches overall, and that handle is going to be about four and a half or one, two, three, three and a half inches uh, long, which um, that's about as short of a, a grip as I can get in my hands. I've got just medium size hands, I'd say. And, but it, it, as you can see, I get a full grip on it and it feels uh, good and firm. Not too small in the hand. Uh, the blade length for the, the, grip is very nice and that blades right at three inches so with about oh about two and three quarters worth of uh, cutting area there so um, pretty uh, pretty usable all right let's uh, let's just take a look at see blade stock is 0.108. So it's a little thinner than than average, but for this size of knife, that's about it's going to be about par. And the handle is 0 0.70 from outside to outside there, so it kind of tapers down here, and then it's a little wider here. So it, it for this, it is a little wider for its uh, size than than it would uh. than you think but again it creates a lot of room area I guess that's so that they wouldn't have to be perfect on the centering and it still operate fine so uh, but actually that little bit of thickness a little bit more th thickness relatively uh, creates a little better I think hand holds on it so it, it's not not bad at all and you got just a kind of a standard pocket clip, not deep carry or anything like that. But this is, a, but it's a pretty long clip, so it'll it'll uh, secure pretty nicely in the pocket. And like I said, it's not got a lot of weight, so I'm not going to really weigh you down any at all. And it's a pretty firm clip. Now with that texture they got there, and that clip being as stout as it is that could if wear on uh, your pocket seam there and maybe cause some fraying if, if you're concerned with that I've never really no matter what I carried really had much issue with that and just out of curiosity uh, let's just grab a little piece of paper here and let's just see how sharp these things are out of the box I, it will cut Yeah, most knives are pretty, pretty sharp out of the box. So he's wondering if they skimped any. Look at it; it'll cut pretty thin. It's pretty sharp for a, a inexpensive knife. It's definitely sharper than uh, the uh, like Ozark Trails and stuff like that that you'll find at Walmart or even. Uh, some of the Gerbers and to be honest as far as uh, cheapy lower cost uh, Kershaw's this one uh, I think stacks up pretty well I didn't bring another to the table but uh, one that definitely this uh, price range wise you know you got the shuffle which is uh, kind of a Kershaw little multi-use uh, knife with openers and, and maybe a little screwdriver on it kind of thing and the ones I've had of those uh, seem to had a very cheap feel to them and also uh, not not really very well finished at all and 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 felt cheap really cheap and this does not this feels like a more expensive knife than, than one of those and to be honest, it also feels uh, 
<clears throat> just as good as uh, the oh so sweet and and some of those that I've I've handled. Uh, I mean, or just as feels like it's in that same realm. So they managed to uh, make a Walmart only budget knife that um, does not, I, in my opinion, hurt their hurt their name any at all. The only, I guess, uh, drawback is that folks that live in an area without a Walmart is there, if there is such a thing in the U.S. anymore, um, wouldn't have access to it without buying it online. And I did not see these online on Walmart. So, um, and had not even noticed these in a cases. So I don't know if they're scarce or if they're just uh, just kind of sitting there nondescript and just never noticed it before. I know it's been out a couple of years so I'm not cutting edge or anything here and, and finding this. Just thought you guys might be interested in my take on it. Um, I'm not I love knives and I, I've got $5 knives and I got $500 knives and uh, so, but I'm not a snob, um, and actually probably carry the cheap ones more than anything, just because, I guess, fear of losing or damaging a, a good knife. Uh, so this one, yeah, you know, put it in your pocket, and you go to, you forget, and you go to the airport, or you go someplace where you can't take knives, and you got to give it up, or toss it in the trash, or something, you're not out a lot of money, and I think uh, when you need a knife, you pop this out, and, you, and it's going to be a good usable knife. Uh, like I said, sharp out of the box, and should be pretty easy to keep a. Probably won't keep an edge as long, but it'll it'll take care of a lot of most of your daily cuts and stuff like that. And then you just pretty quick touch up on the stone, or or even uh, just strop it after you've used it a little bit and and bring that edge back a little and I think you'll have a pretty decent uh just a little knife uh for a lot of folks uh just getting into EDC kind of stuff and uh you know and you're looking for a good knife to you know I'm, you're not going to impress uh a lot of people but if you're just looking for a good knife to have in your daily carry that uh, you're not going to break the bank and get you into knives and or if you want to buy one uh, here we are coming up on uh, Christmas if you want to buy somebody a knife to maybe get them uh, started in the hobby and you get them a name uh, a name brand that's uh, that's not a difficult knife to operate and it looks good and, and it's going to be serviceable this would be a good option for that as well Alright guys, that is my thoughts on the Kershaw Hot Wire. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, this example, um, the dis this isn't the one that was on display. The display one felt and looked just like this one. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So maybe uh, the consistency is there. Y'all know it may not be. Maybe, uh, you know, it's like the shuffle. I may have just got my hands on a couple of bad ones and a bunch of them may be good and same maybe with this as well so um like to know what you guys think if you had any uh experience with these and i just did notice that pocket clip is reversible so you left these out there uh you're in luck you can switch it around so not bad um but i'd like to know what everybody thinks um you know, I'm definitely uh, not ashamed to pull that one out of my pocket and use it. All right, guys, that is it. If you uh, found this uh, video entertaining, helpful, uh, informative, or anything like that, appreciate a like and subscribe. I've hit a 200 subscribers, so I appreciate you guys out there. And I know we... 
start getting the milestones, people start doing giveaways, maybe we'll do a giveaway at some point of something and see what we can come up with. It's pretty good. We'll, I'm going to save it for uh, big milestones. Maybe if we get to 500 or something like that, uh, we'll we'll come up with something really nice to give away and then then, then again at 1,000 something. Um, just something to, for me to think about and and for those of you who enjoy knives, I hope uh, you're just enjoying seeing what I, I get to play with here. All right, guys, that is it. We'll see you guys next time.